YouTube, what's good with y'all? Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Coach Rod. I am a kingdom relationship coach. Um, what I do is I give relationship advice from a kingdom perspective. Um, kingdom means God will doing things. Um, so what I do is I teach relationship from a you know Christian standpoint. So I you know I do Christian dating, Christian dating, and give out Christian kingdom dating advice. So it is something that you want to. If this is something that you are interested in, excuse me, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell so you get notified when I upload videos. And I try to, I try to upload videos at least four to five times a week. And if you're returning back to my channel, thank you for coming back on the channel. Please hit the like button. You know, leave a comment. Uh, today is going to be a very, very interesting topic and a good video. You know, I want to talk about the the negative effects on your kids that a toxic relationship had brings. Um, we got to realize that you know when you are in a toxic relationship and you have kids, you know it can affect your kids. It can affect your kids. So single mothers out there who looking to date, who looking to get married. Who looking to um you know find that Mr. Right whatever you 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 definitely gotta be extremely careful and again I'm gonna continue continually talking about cuffing season and you know domestic violence awareness you know um but you you have to be very careful you know as, as a single mom um. As a single mom, it's your job to protect your children. It's your job to protect your children. And I'm telling y'all, it gets me so upset when I have clients who mother allow a man to, you know, just violate them at a young age and raise them, you know. Um... Not say raise. I'm not, I'm not talking about like raise the right way, but you know, far as like you know, um, banana pudding. You know, that raise. Um, I got talking colds because of you know my video getting monetized and you know certain things. I, I say they're gonna demonetize my video, um, so I got talking colds. So they they you know. Um, so as a mother, you gotta be very, very protective of your, over your kids, of your children. And I want to say this right here: no man, no man, come before your children. No boyfriend, no boyfriend, come before your children. Do you understand that? A boyfriend do not come before you. Your kids come first. Your kids come first. Not a boyfriend. Now, if y'all, if you wasn't getting married, then, you know, you got to, you know, use wisdom and prioritize things and, you know, add your husband in. But, you know, during the dating stage and relationship stage, as a boyfriend, your husband, your boyfriend, don't come for your kids. That what they women gotta realize: your boyfriend don't have rights to, you know, tell your kids what to do. Your boyfriend don't have a right to discipline your child. That's your boyfriend. He don't have that right to do that right now. Cause I'm sick and tired of women. Some women allowing a man to come in their life and, and just, you know, to my, they want a father figure for their children. And the thing about it, it can be a clown in the crown. It can be a man that the whole time while he was in a relationship, the man cheated on him with multiple women. They kept, they catch the man with multiple women in his phone 
and you got this clown around your kids to my a father figure. And one thing that gets me upset is when I see stuff like that right there. And I have hold women accountable when I'm on the phone with a woman. She's telling me everything the man does. The man do this. The man do this. The man got a bunch of women in his phone. The man, he cheated on me constantly, Coach Rod. Then later on in the court session, I found out that she, she have kids. And, you know, and she wanted this man to be her kid's father figure. I get upset. And I tell her, I tell them, because not just one person, sis, if you don't get this man away from your kids, do it today. I, I tell them, my opinion, that man don't need to be around your kids. A man who can't control his lust, he will mess with your children. You know, he will, you know, end up, you know, trying to tell y'all mess with your children, reach your eyes. If a man can't control his lust, get him away from your kid. Don't bring him around your kids and do not date him. Period. You better be single because toxic relationship affect your kids. What ways that a toxic relationship affect your kids. One way is it, it, it affect them in their schoolwork. When, it, when, when a, a, a child is in an unhealthy environment, when they see a man um, making their mama cry, when, they, when you and your boyfriend arguing in front of your child, when your boyfriend call you a B in front of your daughter and your son, what they're doing is that's that's, that's, that's going to affect them in their schoolwork. It can. Some kids probably might, you know, it, it varies. It varies, but that can affect them in your school in, in their schoolwork. You know, it's, it's proven that a child need a stable home, a good home, in order for the child to have good grades and to blossom in the classroom and have good grades. A child is much harder to focus on his schoolwork if his mama got a man in her house or she dating a man or in a relationship with a man who cheating on her, mistreating her, and they see what's going on. And then some of them say, well, you know, I, I wouldn't have a father figure because I, I didn't have a father figure growing up, so I didn't want them to be like me. So they bet up. Not having the father figure than having a clown in their, in, in, in their life. If a man is not worthy to be a father figure, if a man is not responsible, if he don't have character, if he don't have morals, he do not belong in your child's life. Your child will be better off with no father figure than, than a toxic father figure. Your child will be better off with no father figure than you being with a toxic man, cursing you out, cheating on you, putting his hands on you, Put you down in front of your chair, your, your children. Another way it affects your children is when, uh, it, it, emotionally and mentally, if a child sees you getting your hands put on them, put on you, and you getting cursed out for a long period of time, that child is going to get emotionally scarred and damaged. That can affect that child, you know, emotionally being. And a lot of times, I, I, you know, my experience as a coach, a lot of times, a lot of men who uh, um, emotionally abuse women, it comes from how they was raised. Because I could be on the phone with a client and she, she could tell me how, how narcissistic her, boy, her boyfriend is, how he put her down. In some cases, you know, the man wasn't physically abusive, but he was more so mentally abusive and emotionally abusive and, and they would tell me how he would put her down and you know stuff like that say things about her call or her name so I would ask them how was he raised and it, it never fails he was raised by his stepdad uh, abusing his mama 
he saw his stepdad emotionally abuse his mama. So when your son is around that, get what he gonna do? He gonna grow up doing the same thing. And that's why we have so many men um, abusing women and emotionally damaging women because they, they were raised that way. It's like a cycle, like a domino effect it's been passed down. That what happen when you keep your son and your daughter, okay, you can't go both ways. When your daughter see that mess, when your daughter witness you getting dogged out and getting cursed out and she see that you put up with a man call you out your name, get what she gonna do. She gonna grow up and she gonna allow the same thing to happen to her. Because to her, this is normal for a man to call you a B. I remember one time I was working for um, UPS years ago. And I delivered in Fort Lauderdale. My route was in Fort Lauderdale. Down Sunrise and 19th Street. 30, um, 31st Avenue and 9th Avenue. And back behind 9th Avenue and Andrews. Um, and I was over there in the area by, um, I think Robert out the ash. Yeah, Robert, that's Robert out the ash. Uh, elementary school. I was in that area over there where they, they have a bunch of apartments. And I had a package for this, um, this lady. And, and um, so when I went to the address. I went to the house. I went to the apartment. It was a guy outside with some kids you know and uh so i say hey, um i got delivery for so-and-so who i say so-and-so oh i ain't know she ordered nothing let me call my big dog he told me in front of the girl daughter let me call my b-i-t-c-h dog that little girl gonna grow up with that saying, she's gonna grow up feeling like she'll be. And one thing I can't stand when women call themselves bees. But broken women. Broken women. So because she, she got a broken mother and her daughter's around that, 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 that toxic environment, she's gonna attract the same type of man. And more than likely, she's gonna attract a man who's gonna put hands on her. Because she don't know her worth. As a young girl, she would never tell her as a young girl. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of young girls get inside these relationships and allow men to call them a B. And, and then they get in the bed and open their legs up to the men because they was raised in, a, in, in an environment that they saw their mama being called a B. So when they see to toxicity, that, that's, that, that's, that's, that's normal for them. Being called a B, being cursed out, being yelled at. You ugly. Sit your tail down. Anybody don't want that that become known to those kids. Now a young girl gonna grow up with, with, with a broken consciousness. Allowing guys to disrespect her and she's gonna be still in the bed with the guys. And this is one of the reasons why we have a lot of broken women, not the only reason, but one reason we have a lot of broken women is because how they was raised. How they was raised. They never had a father figure in their life. So they, they were raised by a single mother. And their single mother was broken. She was lost. And she, I, 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 have, I, have, I, have, I had some clients. And one thing I noticed about some of my clients, they follow the same dating pattern that their mom, their mom did. And they'll tell me, like, when I was younger, you know, I didn't have a father figure. And my mom, you know, she dated different men, you know, different men in and out of her life, just using her for her body. They would go in her room, close the door, you know, stuff like that, you know. And I, you know, I was like 12 years old, so I knew what they was in there doing, you know. And uh, my, I, I experienced that my whole childhood, seeing my mother, you know, dating different men. Then I said, you know what? What? I said, you doing the same thing your mom doing. And then they'd be like, well, you know what, you, you, you're right. The same type of man your mama dating, you, you, you're dating. Because why? That's all you saw. 
your mom dated a man with no job, let the man live in the house and use her, and you doing the same. It, it was the woman was in a was in a relationship with a man. I think he was engaged. That didn't have a job to my here because he was a felon, and her mama dated the same type of guys. I said, "This is where you going wrong at?" You know. I said, "Now you got to break the cycle." Cause she have a daughter. I said, "Guess what? Your daughter gonna do the same thing. It's gonna be it's gonna be a domino effect." These are the effects that a toxic relationship have on a child. Another effect, the negative, negative effect you have on a child is, you know, that child can grow up with low self-esteem. That's why a lot of children have low self-esteem because they've been around toxic, you know, environment, you know. And a lot of times, women will allow a man to call their child out their name and they still with the man. And one thing that pissed me off, one thing I cannot stand when a woman continue to date, be in a relationship with a man, and that man is calling her child out their name. I just don't understand how in the world, I'll be, I'll finish it, I'll finish it at H E L L, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be saved. But how in the world you let a man call your child out their name? And then you in a bed with that man with your legs open. I don't give a darn about how good no hammer is. I don't care how good. I don't care not buy any a man for my bills. Forget that. No man has the right to be on top of you making noise if that man don't like your children. If a man call your child out their name, they don't like your children. They don't love your children. If they don't love your children, guess what? They don't love you. Because why? It's a package deal. A man can't say he love you, but then again turn around and call your child out their name. And I'm sick and tired of women being involved with men like this right here. And this is why a lot of children are growing up broken. Men growing up broken because they saw their mama they experience they a lot their mama allow their boyfriend or their stepdaddy or their dad. I don't care if that's your child biological father. Don't you call my child a name. If my child biological biological mother call him a name, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna get in her face. No man, no man come before your child. If a man is jealous of your children, if a man say you love your child more than you love me, break up with that man. There's an insecure, jealous man. He don't love you and he don't love your children. Because jealousy will get inside that man's spirit. And that man will do something to, you, to your children. That's a very insecure man to tell you that you love your child more than you love me because you're kissing your child. Stop putting boyfriends above your children. Stop doing that. I don't know who this is for, but some of y'all need to hear this. I'm coaching so many of broken women. Because they daddy, they stepdaddy told them you ugly, nobody ain't gonna want you. If I was a woman, I don't care if if they if they daddy tell them that they ugly. I don't care if I was married to their daddy and, 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 and if I was a woman, if I was married to a man and he called my child ugly in front of me, tell me I submit to your husband shoot out. That part right there, I would not be submissive. I would disobey. I, I, I would disobey Ephesians five and twenty two. You call my child out their name. I don't care. You are their daddy. I don't care. You my husband. You even call my child no stupid, no dumb, no ugly in front of me. I, I don't say nothing. I'm gonna have to say something and I repent later. And I do believe if I defend my child. Because if some of y'all take that submission word a little bit too far. But I do believe 
if I was a woman, if I was married, and the man called my child a B, or my child ugly and stupid, if I stand up and defend my child, God won't look at me as being not submissive. Because he is doing wrong. Because the same Bible that says, submit to your husband, it also said, children, obey your father and mother. Fathers, provoke, provoke not your child to rout. So when the man is calling your child ugly, he is provoking your child to rap. He is wrong and he out of order. Don't let nobody put their mouth on your children. Don't let nobody put their mouth on you in front of your children. Now you shouldn't let nobody do it. Period. Whether in front of children or y'all by yourself. But definitely not in front of your children. So if a man put his mouth on you in front of your children, um, hello, excuse me. You see my child right there? Don't don't talk like that in front of my child. You know what? This ain't gonna work. We need stronger women with a backbone. To break up with a man who dishonored her in front of her child. That is a toxic man who's gonna call you watch your name or yell at you and put you down in front of your child and you won't sit right there and don't say nothing. Open your mouth and tell that man you are not gonna talk to me like that in front of my children. And if you have a problem with that. You know what? You got to go. You have to go. I would not be with nobody. And that should be your standard and your boundary. I would not be with anybody who will put me down and talk down to me. Period. Especially in front of my children. Because it's going to affect your child. Your child going to grow up emotionally damaged and scarred. Your daughter going to grow up with low self-esteem. When she hear you have let a man all your life call you out your name. Call you a hoe and a bee, and all this stuff is she gonna grow up with low self esteem, and she gonna do the same thing. She gonna let men get her on her back. She gonna be, she gonna be kissing up the men. She gonna let men cheat on her, and she run behind the men. She gonna pursue men. This is why women are broken. Cause they weren't raised in a healthy environment. They weren't raised by they, by they, they father and mother telling them that you are queen, you're beautiful. A child need to hear that. A, a daughter need to hear you beautiful. You a queen from their parents. A son need to hear you handsome. You smart. You intelligent. A son need to hear that in front of by their parents. And if a man could not encourage your children, do not marry that man. Understand me? If a man cannot speak of your child life, do not marry that man. I got to to know, if I marry a woman with children, it's my responsibility as a man to speak over their life positive things. If I'm married with a mama, a mature man would take their mama to the side and talk to her about something say, listen, you know, I don't like what happened. So don't do it in front of the kids. If I marry a woman that have children, I would not argue with her in front of her kids. Her kids don't need to see that. The only thing they gonna see is me her holding hand, me her, me her hugging, me her kissing. I love you, baby. I love you too. That's what they gonna see. Kids need to see that. Then now when they grow up, they uh, if a child see a a a, a man. That's married to her mama. And that man is affectionate to her mama. That man treat her mama like a queen. That man, you know, you know what I'm saying, saying how beautiful her mama is. And then that man also tell, tell her how beautiful she is. It's my job as a man, if I got a stepdaughter, to tell her you're beautiful. You're a queen. That's my responsibility as a man. See what I'm saying? 
That what a child needs. So when a child grow up, she gonna know. I, I deserve better. I'm beautiful. I'm a queen. I'm a queen. My dad told me. My stepdad told me that I was a queen. My mama always told me I was a queen. Your child need that. Your son need to know you handsome. You a smart man. He need to know that. The negative, these are the negative effect that a relationship have on your children. And what y'all don't realize, again, we are in a spiritual battle. The Bible says what? The thief come what? To kill, steal, and destroy. John 10 and 10. The enemy want to kill, steal, and destroy. He, he want to destroy you by destroying your seed. He not, he not only want to kill you, but he, he want to destroy your seed. He want to have your whole family on drugs. The whole I, I know a family, every generation uh, on drugs. Yeah, the women um, sell their bodies on drugs, ghetto, kids outside of the red lot, never married. I know a family that I grew I grew up with in my neighborhood. The whole family. That what anyone want to do. He want to destroy your family. He want to start with you and your daughter, and then get your daughter, daughter, your son, and your son, son, and your kids get. Don't affect. Now we got a generation of kids and families. You know, destroyed. That's the job of uh, uh, the job of the enemy. We not we don't rush against flesh and blood. So the devil, the enemy, he sends me in your life. He sends toxic men in your life. So to to get to you, and, and and to damage your child. He wants your daughter with low self esteem. He wants your daughter to have depression and anxiety. And then a lot of times when a child grow up all their life and they were put down, you were beat, you ugly, nobody don't want you. This and that other, they grow up with depression and anxiety and suicidal thoughts. Because the enemy want your child to take their life. Do you understand me? This is why it's important that you don't let anybody come around your children. If the man don't have no character, no morals, do not bring him on your kids. If a man cheat on you, break up with that man. Do not stay and stay with a man and you got kids and your man cheating on you. I'm trying to tell you now. Because it can affect your children. If they were, they were wrong, he wants he your children depressed, low self esteem. He wants your son depressed. See, let me tell you something. Number one, he wants your daughter depressed, low self-esteem. And when a woman, when a young girl has got low self-esteem, she's going to grow up being promiscuous. She could be a, a teenage mom. She could drop out of school. She could um, take her life. And she'll do any and everything to get a man attention from a man. If your son, the devil wants your son to grow up, low self-esteem, insecure, narcissistic, and that's another effect a toxic relationship brings on your child is your, your son can grow up being a narcissist. In the press too. Because a lot of nauseous and, and toxic people, they, they really don't love themselves. They're insecure, and that's why they hurt people. Because they, 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 they've, been, they've been damaged their whole life. These are the negative effects that a toxic relationship brings on your children. And like I said, I get sick and tired of women putting their boyfriend before their kids. A boyfriend don't come for your kids. Even even me as a man, when I date a woman with kids and we in a relationship, get what? Her kids come first. I tell her, your, your kids come first.
You know? That's the type of man that I am. If she put a kid for me, I tell her, listen, don't put your kid for me. Your kids come first. I'm a real man. I'm not insecure. Do not allow your child to see you in a toxic relationship and you stand with a man who's very toxic, who's narcissistic. Put you down emotionally and mentally because it's going to affect your children. It's going to affect your children. Eddie Coach Rod signing off. Thank y'all for so much for watching the video. If you want coaching, send me an email. Let me know you are, you are interested in coaching. I get back to you. And also, if you want to be a blessing to my ministry, you want to sow a seed of any amount, uh, my cash out will be inside the description box. And uh, also, too, uh, if you want to purchase my book, I am an author. For those who don't know, <coughs> excuse me, I got a lot of new subscribers. So I am an author of the book called Queen Don't Settle. So if you want to purchase my book, I'm going to put the link inside the description. Click on the link and my book going to come up. Purchase my book. It's called Queen Don't Settle. Hey, God bless y'all so much. Do not tolerate toxic relationships. It can and it will affect your child. Talk to y'all soon.